everybody thank you for coming back to my channel i appreciate it if you clicked on this video and are interested in keeping up with my trying to conceive journey that you hit that like and subscribe button also the notification bell if you want to be notified when i do upload videos but other than that i know in my last video i sounded really down and out and depressed and everything like that but the thing is I was. <laughs> Can't put it any lighter than that. Can't put it any plainer than that. I mentally was going through something and I definitely was falling into some type of depression. And I was able to talk it out with my significant other and pretty much just look within myself um, to realize that it's okay. Everything is okay, and everything is going to be okay. Um, I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself on the fact that, um, you know, my body wasn't ovulating before, and now that it is ovulating, I'm still not conceiving, and, and it's just really frustrating, you know? And so, in my last video, I contemplated not taking the... Um, Clomid anymore and giving myself a break until the end of next year after uh, me and my significant other uh, take our trip to Hawaii because I didn't really want to put um, our trip off if I did conceive in the next month or two but the thing is I don't want to put it on hold I don't I don't every single day I think to myself how beautiful it would be to have a child and to do that journey with my significant other and I just don't see my life being complete without that I just don't and hearing my boyfriend say out of his mouth that he has already mentally prepared himself and is content with the idea that maybe we might have to adopt that broke my heart but also was a little relieving that he's he's welcoming to that idea like he's welcome to that idea and a, a lot of people aren't but I told him there's still other things we can do before we get there let's do these two months of um Clomid <sighs> sorry let's do these two months of Clomid let's finish it off and let's go from there uh, let's see what happens and um, you know all we can do is just wish for the best and and I pray I pray so so hard that that it'll happen for us within this next month or, t or two now like I was saying um, I ended up getting my period like I thought I would um, I ended up getting my period on Thanksgiving Day, like right when I'm busting my butt in the kitchen, I felt, uh, you know what, uh, our, our ladies, us ladies know that feeling. And then I was like, shit, ran to the bathroom. There she goes. Not, she didn't give me no warning, no spotting. She gave me cramps, but no spotting, no nothing. Just straight, full on blood. Nah, so I was like, okay. So Thanksgiving was cycle day one. Friday was cycle day two. Saturday... Ooh, excuse me. Saturday, cycle day three. Today is Sunday, so that's cycle day four. I take my Clomid cycle day five through nine. So I need to pick up, uh, I need to get my prescription filled and picked up tomorrow so I can take it that night. Um, all I want from you guys, besides your love and your support and your prayers, is if you're in the same boat as me, Please try not to let it affect your mental state. <sighs> Sorry, I just ate a plate of leftovers and you know how turkey will make you sleepy. Because I think it did that for me. And um, I just had to realize that I love my significant other. I really do. And I love myself. And we're going to get there. We are going to get there. And so are you guys. We all are. So if you watch this video, I want you to comment below and let me know where you are in your journey. 
if you're I'm so sorry. If you're pregnant, how far along are you? If you're trying to conceive, where are you in your cycle? If you're in your two-week wait, when do you plan to test? Let me know. Please let me know on the bottom in the comments below. Um, if you guys want anything from me, if you guys want me to do like a daily, um, like a couple minute vlog every day that I take the pills, let you know my symptoms. Or if you guys want me to um, track track my um, my ovulation, because I wanted to not track. I wanted to not track and just relax. Just take the pills and relax. Because I haven't had a, a relaxing month in months. Because I've been taking Clomid since July. Yeah, July, August, September, October. So yeah, since the end of July. So once again, I say that you guys just keep me in your prayers. I'll keep you in mind and I hope you have a great Sunday. Thank you.